All right, what's going on everybody? Today is January the 17th. Today is Tuesday, Martian Day, Mars Day. And we're talking about, man, staying positive during the battle in the midst of the darkness. Because the darkness is just the forces that you might not be able to perceive while you're in the middle of the battle of accumulating yourself. Because you need to understand, if you're born within a family, if you're born with whatever, with whatever your workplace, People is not going to like the real expression of you. People are going to expect you to conform to the agenda and to their schedule and to how they see things should be. But you're going to have to understand eventually that the king of kings is within you. The king of kings is not within anybody else. There's no other way to the father except through you. And if somebody else wants, to, wants you to think that going to the father, you can go to the father through them, they are sadly mistaken because the only way to the Father is by listening to your source. God is communicating with you 24-7, 365, always putting signs in front of your face, trying to wake you up. Wake up, Negro. You're in the middle of the battle amongst the darkness and amongst uh, you know the Luciferians and the Satanists and the Muslims and the Christians, but really, it's all the same shit, just different forms. So you need to understand your personal spiritual lineage because how you express yourself how you converge how you diverge things is unique to you you don't need uh you know a spiritual system from somebody else you don't need to understand uh all the occult knowledge in the world because you are already all the occult knowledge in the world the bible tells us that you're already sanctified that you're already justified you're already all these things god already said my brother you're amazing. I made you flawed on purpose, for purpose, not for people to come here and try to present this image of perfection. So this is how you know the government is a lie because like, even they understand a little bit, but let's say in, during Barack Obama and his presidency, they recently just started dropping the ball with like Joe Biden and shit like that. Him acting kind of funny because they kind of like trying to show you, they're trying to like tell you. But if you're not listening, then they're gonna, they're gonna be like, okay, I can keep doing this. And that's really all the people in your life. If you're not going to show the people in your life that you, that you are aware of what they're trying to do to you, then they're going to keep doing it because you're going to, you're basically telling them, oh, I can't see what's going on. Oh, I'm a fool. I don't know what's going on. La, 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 la. And you can do that if you want, but you're going to suffer the ultimate price. And the ultimate price is you. You're going to be in a place doing some strange things just to have a peace of mind. And the hardest thing for me to do in life was just to stay peaceful. Because everybody around me wants me to look just like them. Wants me to dress just like them. Wants me to smoke the same things they smoke. Want me to drink the same things they drink. Want me to eat the same thing they drink. Now they eat. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love dieting. I love fitness. I love health. I love wisdom. I love knowledge. I love the occult. I love astrology. I love cosmology. I love numerology. I love gematria. I love all those things. I love the Bible. I love the Quran. I love the Bhagavad Gita. I love, uh, I love all the Talmud, the Mishnah, all these scriptures that these Negroes at their time and age, they, they wrote to describe the, their mental states via characters of man and woman and to describe their travels and what they had to do to get to where they were. Because Muhammad is just telling you what he did in his life to become the, you know, uh, whatever, profit. But there's really no such thing as profit because when you get to a level where you whoop, where you're whooping every demon in your mind and you're whooping every devil outside of you that lived, uh, yeah, a lot of people are not going to like you, bro. A lot of people are not going to be, um, why are you different than us? How dare you act different? How dare you not use your lexicon? How dare you not speak like us? All these things. When you're in the battle with the midst of the darkness, you're going to be very aware. A, a lot of you guys is not completely awake. I'm just recently becoming awake. Like, my eyes are just peeking. Like, like I just took a fucking drug. And I didn't take no drug. It's called motherfucking life. It's called realization. And it's called acceptance. It's called acceptance. Because right now, there's a person, there's a place, there's a thing. I may not know exactly what person, what place, what thing? It might be an organization. It might be your mom pastor. It might be your brothers and sisters, mother and father. But I guarantee you that there's a person, place, or thing in your life that's going to tell you, don't express yourself to the fullest. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't ask any questions. No, 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 no. 
don't get any, don't go further than that. Don't, don't, no, you don't leave this organization. You stay within this organization and you stay a part of us. And you be a Lucifer just like us. Real fucking shit. Real motherfucking shit. Because when you really, when you really, when I accepted myself, bruh, bruh. You know how many people basically showed me that they don't fucking like me? Because I'm just simply trying to be me, man. Man, I love me. I like me the way I am. I don't need no lexicon. I don't need no grammar. I don't need no, no, no fucking words. I don't need no fucking spiritual system. I'm fucking me. I show up and I do me and I be me. And that's it. And I don't need motherfuckers, uh, friends, people, families to come and tell me, no, 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 you can't do this. Motherfucker, you don't think people are telling Muhammad and Jesus not to do this? Is you stupid? So you're, gonna, so you're telling me you just want to stay in the dark. You just like to stay in the dark. You know, you just, you know, you just want to understand the dark and you want to direct people, places, and things based on that. Okay, you can do that. Now, you can be, you know, very intellectual, uh, a very, 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 very good dark magician. But eventually, you're just going to become a black magician because all you've known was just the dark. Okay, let me go do this on this time. Okay, let me go do this, that. Okay, this person places a thing better do this for me like it's just fucking stupid so when you when you're in the middle of this battle it's gonna be so confusing you're not gonna be aware you're not gonna understand what's gonna happen when somebody puts the image of jesus on the cross and tells you jesus died for you brother don't you feel guilty you think guilt is a motherfucking good thing you think god actually wants you to sit somewhere and feel guilty you think god wants you to feel bad nigga this is just a form we transform these forms. We take out so many shapes and forms. This ain't the only motherfucking form there is in the motherfucking universe. And there ain't one form out there for you to be and just be like and take to be like, oh yeah, I just want to be this, brother. I just want to praise Jesus all day, bro. Nope. And you know what? I want to praise Muhammad five times a day, brother. And while I'm at that, I want to praise Allah. Praise Allah, brother. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Tabarakallah. Okay, cool. Now, after you're done doing all your prayers, after you're done, uh, uh, you know, writing uh, your affirmations and things like that, you might want to, you know, go below the detection threshold and, uh, you know, not invest so much time in the subconscious, maybe rather in the unconscious and go below the detection threshold so you can see why the fuck you hate the people around you because you're stupid and a fool. So when you hate the people around you, you're really goddamn just hating yourself. Because if someone hates you, it got nothing to do with you. That just, that just something got to do with them. There's something that you're doing. There's something that you're being that these fools just don't like. And you got to understand, if you're amongst people that are not your spiritual family, obviously they're going to be robots. Obviously they're going to be golems. Obviously they're going to have someone else's mind downloaded in them. They're going to want you to play out that mind because they just think it's the greatest thing to slice bread. They're like, oh, look at this chakra system. Oh, look at these wheels. Oh, that's the best thing to slice bread. Oh, you don't need none of that shit. You're, you're, you're already the motherfucking wheel. Who the fuck told you you needed someone else's uh, goddamn wheel and shit like that? And this is why... This is, this is this message is not for everybody. If you're not ready for this message, I just recommend you pause this. You get the fuck out of this. You Luciferians, get the fuck out this video. You weak ass motherfuckers, get the fuck out this video. I'm telling you, this message is not for the weak of heart. Life is not for the weak of heart. Life is real. And I've experienced fucking life. And you, and you too shall. But you know what the difference between Negroes like me and Negroes like you? I experienced stuff on the motherfucking front line, and I am motherfucking afraid to call it as it is, motherfucker. But yeah, I'm a flawed human being. I'm in my car right now. I, I, I don't have no fancy background in front of me. So I don't need that, because I show up, and that's it. It's game over. Like, you know, like, like how Brother Will likes to say, when you have the fastest gun in the north, the east, and south, and north, fuck you got to be afraid of, bruh. Because you're going to smoke any demons, because... You're not afraid of your toxic laundry. I guarantee you all these Luciferians, all these Satanists, they're just afraid of the, you know, little toxic shame and shit like that. And they're like, yeah, you know, this happened to me when I was younger, bro. And I'm going to go do this to other people now because, you know, other people are ignorant. Other people don't know God, bro. I can bear the most light. I am Lucifer. Ah! 
I guess it's, it's a pathetic display. It's a pathetic display. And so you need to understand you're really going to be battling with the darkness. And you're not going to be able to see or perceive this darkness. You, you know, you're going to be able to, but because you shut down your organs, because you shut down your crown chakra, you shut down your uh, corona radiator, you shut down your ability to sense those things. You, you shut down your gut feeling. You no longer trust your gut. Science told you that the gut is a motherfucking, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's just a gut, brother. It processes food, brother. Motherfucker, so why do you say, oh, I got a gut feeling? So your gut must be trying to communicate with you something. It must be trying to tell you something about the current circumstance that you're experiencing. And so is your heart. You, uh, they're going to tell you, oh, no, brother. It's just a heart. Like, you know, it's just, it's just a heart, brother. Like, it pumps blood and, you know, circulates around the body, brother. And, you know, just, it just does its job, brother. It just keeps me alive. Let's go. Praise science. Praise Muhammad. Praise Buddha. Praise Jesus. Now, the heart, you feel with your heart, man. Why do you think people say, man, my heart hurts? Man, I feel hurt. My, 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 heart, uh, my heart has sunken. My heart has fallen. There's a reason for that because you're actually describing how people's conscious awareness, how people think and feel about you is uh, hitting your organs, how, the, how, uh, how people are hitting your light bodies, how people are hitting your aura field, how people are hitting your toroidal field. And if you let people, people interrupt your toroidal field, if you let people interrupt your aura, if you let people interrupt your energy, you're going to meet your motherfucking demise because you have shut down a part of yourself. And why the fuck would you shut down your, the part of yourself for anybody else? Why don't you shut down a part of yourself for me? Don't ever do that. You never shut down yourself for nobody. Ever. The moment you do that, the moment you have met your demise. And the moment that, that's the moment you became a motherfucking robot. And you're getting ready to motherfucking walk into your demise. And you don't even motherfucking know it. And you can be the biggest occultist in the world. You can be the biggest Islam nigga or the biggest Christian negro or you can be the biggest Hindu Luciferian or whatever but motherfucking negro after you're done with all that shit you might want to check yourself twice homie because you obviously not doing that <laughs> obviously you're not doing that see that's why I'm doing today's video that's why I'm doing today's show because I went because I've verified some experiences in my life that have led me to the conclusion that this is not a coincidence. This is an, an energetic disruption and, and a cancer and a miasma that's inter infiltrating my space that I do not motherfucking like. So when somebody infiltrates your space, you will not be able to motherfucking pace yourself right. You're going to pace yourself on someone else's where the manager is going to be like, Go, 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 go. You guys got to work. You guys got to work. You guys got to work. Uh, bitch, that's not my motherfucking rhythm. Uh, I, I got I, I, I to work a specific way. I don't need you there rushing me, telling me, oh, you got to do this now. You got to do that now. It's got to be done now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, you don't know what the fuck got to be done now. So don't be trying to tell people what they got to do with their time in life. Because unless you went through those experiences and have verified and have done the real Shadow work? See, a lot of you guys do, do, do that. Do the fluffy, the funny shadow work. Do the fluff shit. See, I don't do the fluff shit, homeboy. I don't do the fluff game, uh, baby girl. I don't do none of that. Me, I, I play the real games. I play the real War, war uh, Game of Thrones. And, and it's a battle against my fucking self, battling the darkness outside of the forces that I do not understand how they work yet. Because you're always observing things from your relative point of you in space and time based on your birth based on your numerology chart based on your diakonia and your destiny and things like that and whenever whenever will you whenever will you whenever you're not able to locate your true attributes and characteristics you're going to settle for an attribute and characteristics of, of the world that's a facade for example some Negroes want to wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, brother, you know, I support the Republicans. And some other Negroes want to wake up in the morning and they want to be like, yeah, brother, I support the Democrats. Okay, but that has... Now, look, based on them understanding human psychology and based on them understanding how how they can push and pull people between each other, which is just divide and conquer, they make you guys... They just give you guys banners and they make you guys choose those banners, kind of like Black Lives Matter. Because Black Lives Matter didn't help nobody. I didn't get no motherfucking check in the mail. Did you black people get check in the mail? I didn't get none. Last time I checked, that shit went to Joe Biden and his motherfucking Negroes. 
So, or, or these motherfucking white folks, because these, these, these motherfucking white folk, they know how to play the Negroes. They've been playing you Negroes for motherfucking years. Why the fuck you and y'all Negroes don't think y'all don't got your own corporations? Y'all motherfucking countries. Africa is not even its own country. Speculatively speaking, Africa is using a government structure that's from the Europeans and from Arabia. So how the fuck is you going to be your own people if you're functioning underneath the mentality of other people? It's really, it's really common sense. It's really simple. It's really simple science. It's, it's really common sense. But see, common sense is not so common because we trade our common sense for other people's common sense. We're like, oh, yeah, look, brother, this imam, this pastor, he said that I need to wash my ass five times a day so that I go to heaven and I can praise Allah all day, all night. Okay, maybe, may, maybe the imam just didn't wash his ass when he was a kid, so now he has developed some kind of fucking ass skin disease and now he's letting you know yeah brother you know via my own experience i have verified that you need to wash your ass while you take a shower because if you don't wash your ass brother you will develop some kind of uh, disease some kind of skin problem and that's why allah tells us to wash our ass brother look people are just telling you about their personal experiences that's it i'm telling you about my personal experiences right now and my goal is to connect with other people who have had similar personal experiences to me, to me so we can create an organization, so we can create information, so we can develop products, so we can promote things that have to do with, you know, overcoming this. Because what the, like, people is amazing, man. Like, Luciferians is amazing. Like, it's just, they, like, wow. Like, wow. Like, talk about fooling yourself and talk about fooling other people. But see, if I didn't go through this myself, I wouldn't be able to be here talking about it today. Cause I had to go through with myself for me to learn it. Cause it's like, it's just the game of life. And the faster you learn the game of life, the faster you can uh, ignore these speculative things that people throw at you in the form of objectivity. They they really just they they just really don't know what they, if somebody if somebody walking uh, if somebody if, if you if you a pastor let's say and somebody look at your skittle suit. Somebody, on, oh, look at the pastor. He's wearing his goddamn. Now I I don't like I don't give a fuck about no pastor. No, do I like the these modern day pastors because they're all just a bunch of fags a bunch of retards really they don't even know what the bible is saying nor do they even know how to communicate it properly so they just get you lost in witchcraft and you get lost yourself in your own witchcraft you think that jesus is the light okay so when you go to your dream you see jesus you see white white boy jesus white boy jesus with his long hair riding a white horse praise jesus brother oh brother i saw jesus in my dream Jesus must be real. Motherfucker, don't you know because you believe in Jesus, you see Jesus in your motherfucking dream? You think a Muslim sees Jesus in their motherfucking dream? Now you gotta understand the essence of Jesus so that when you see Jesus, you know what it actually means. Because yeah, you might see Jesus in your dreams, but it's not gonna be what you fucking think. It's literally, you're literally just talking to yourself. But now you've convinced yourself that your internal image has something to do with your external image. And that's why you have to efficiently know how to battle with the forces of darkness through the experience tra through through the through the through the through the through the transfer of experience through this transfer of experience of spiritual knowledge, so you can see how you do yourself wrong every day and how you're trying to do other people wrong. Man, when you see it in your life, bro, man, you might start crying, you might start hurting because you don't allow yourself to actually really breathe. You don't allow yourself to actually really be. Most people don't even know what it likes. Most people don't even know what it likes. What it's like to be. Most people just wake up every day. Do, 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 do. It's one o'clock. It's time to do. It's two o'clock. It's time to do. It's three o'clock. Four. Five. Like, just learn how to be. The most powerful beings are beings who be motherfucking being. Like, that's it's that simple. So you know. You need to obviously hook up with an organization like the Life Management System, whose founder is Dr. Will Rogers, aka Massachusetts 33. Because what I'm learning as a part of this organization is that I need to be able to connect with my source, not the source of other people. Because if I connect with the source of other people, that's only gonna mind fuck my mind. If I go to the Ahmadi Center and I go learn about Ahmadi, oh praise Mirza Ahmed Ghulam, that the dumb shit then I'm going to lose myself in that process. But if you really love yourself, if you really know that you are the source, that you're gonna, then you're going to observe. But you're going to be like, okay, brother, I'm glad that you do that. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, brother. But 
since I know that another man's god is another man's devil, I'm going to continue to do what I need to do for myself because the source is within me. The source is in you, operating as you and operating through you. So you don't need to abandon yourself any longer. I will stop abandoning myself any longer. I will not abandon myself for nobody else, for anything, any place, or anyone in the world. Only the people that resonate with me and resonate with my spiritual path and resonate with my message is the people that, is the people that I want to hang around with. Now, I'm not afraid of hanging out with no Satanists, with no Luciferians, with no uh, uh, Caliphate of Islam, with no Sunni, with no Shia, with no Christians, with, with no, you know, with no dwarf idiots. Because when, I, when I'm in the motherfucking room, I am the example for fucking God, nigga. Not you trying to structure yourself. Oh, yeah, I need to look like this. Let me wear a white robe and a white little hat. Mm, I look like a little good sperm cell. Yeah, let me let me listen to my director and let me not jump out of my pecker when, you know, unless Allah give me the permission, brother. So, you know, I'm going to instantly see you on the next video. And as I evolve, as I continue to change, as I continue to peek into a new mind, I will deliver this powerful content, this life-changing content. You know, I will infinitely see you on the next motherfucking video. You better goddamn believe it. Real shit.